Looking forward to a fun day for a sad reason. Unfortunately, we're going to look for somebody that lost their life helping someone on the Wisconsin River. So we started off the adventure at Bob's Riverside, formerly Shiflets in Spring Green. So they have a small little boat landing down on the front there. So where it happened, straight across the sandbar. That's where the guy hollered. The guy where the what? Where the guy hollered at us was over there. For this recovery, what we were asked to try to do is to stick close to the shoreline, you know, hitting logs, hitting brush, uh, getting in some back sloughs, some backwaters of the river and see if we could just disturb something. And maybe that body happened to go into a place where a boat couldn't get to. That's what we were trying to do through this. So we initially started down this side of the river And we actually ended up coming back to the same spot and going down the other side of the river, but more on that later. We stopped at some little backwaters, as you can see right here, a couple of geese flying out, so there was kind of neat scenery. The water in this particular area was a little shallower than what I anticipated. Uh, you can see that by the waves kind of moving in the front of the sherp. The nice thing is, is these waters back here are all sand, so even when you're going through this stuff, you can't even, doesn't even leave a track even slightly. Uh, but you never know where anything could have turned up. So we just tried to look as we were asked to do in all these kind of back waters and kind of go from there. And you can see there's still quite a bit of current that's still going through here, right here in these, this brush that's sitting there. So coming up here, I had to let my sister out to take a quick little break. Her legs were getting a little bit stiff. So I took advantage of the situation just to show you what the old Sherp looks like uh, going down some of these small little back sloughs. Now this area here happens to be pretty shallow. But the river changes very drastically and as you're gonna see right here, that sandbar just drops right off. When the river rises and falls, it, it dramatically changes. So right there, I'm completely floating from being in, I don't know, eight inches of water somewhere around there. And there's quite a bit of current out there. Uh, river can be very, very dangerous uh, if you're not careful, um, even if you are careful, just because of the current in the undertow. So you can see right here, I'm kind of being pushed, I guess, to the right. And I plop through here right there, and I just grab that sandbar and just sandbar. pop right out. Much easier than on ice. Ice is more fun. But off the two of us go to continue on our journey. Now, in a perfect world, I'd go over there and just drive over those um, logs to see if I can move something around. But the current is moving so quickly here that I really can't control the sherp. Well, I'd have to go backwards and forwards, and it would just it would be very, very difficult. So we did our best to get close and uh, kind of went from there. So I'm gonna speed it up here a little bit because this is kind of just shallow water, not a lot of action going on. This is a side of the river too, it's not the main river, and I was trying to find to get to the channel uh, where it was a little bit deeper, which happened to be on the other side, so I worked my way over here, and in this particular area I am able to kind of move things around a little bit, but again we couldn't get anything to 
strip this. I don't know what that was there. I don't know if you've seen that, that little white spot. I think that was uh, muskrat, to be honest. So you're probably wondering, why wouldn't you just go over that? Well, again, there is a lot of current here, and that branch right there is quite a ways up in the air. And I can drive over pretty much anything with the Sherp as long as the top, the top of whatever I'm driving over is not over that front bumper. And these things are clearly over that front bumper. Uh, here I just pop over this small one, but uh, when it's over that front bumper, obviously that tree is just going to rub right against the Sherp. And it really isn't going to hurt anything. It might scratch the side up a little bit, but it'd just be minor and probably wouldn't bake, break the windshield, but folks, I'm certainly not in the mood to break something else on the Sherp. I've done that enough already, uh, and we'll try to keep that as infrequent as possible. Just as we're going down, I'll just tell you another little story. Might have a video coming out on this. I may not, I'm not sure yet. But a weird thing happened is one of the bolts for a brake caliber um, actually fell out. And because of that, if you know how a brake caliper works, there's basically kind of two little plungers that are pushing against brake pads and it pushes up against a rotor or a rotating round metal chunk. Um, the support that holds that whole unit, uh, one of that bolt came out and that rotor was moving back and forth in there. And I found that out after I got home and I was just doing some just basic maintenance on it, changing the oil and such. And uh, kind of created a little bit of an issue. And I looked at that caliper and came to the conclusion to just get a different one and talked with Old Sherp USA. And they immediately talked with me, walked me through the whole process as they always do, great people. And I should have one being shipped to my house very soon, and I'll work on that this coming up weekend. The river is just so beautiful to me, calming. Wasn't really a lot of people over in this area again because it, this is not that main channel. There was quite a few different boats that were going up and down on that day, shooting radar. Uh, they had dogs actually out there too. I never knew about this until this whole situation takes place. Is uh, they have dogs that go out and are trained to to smell a body essentially, and after that body gets found, our smell gets hit. Then they kind of get in a little bit more detail. I don't know all of this, so I'm not an expert. Please don't think that. Uh, but essentially they might go get divers if they could figure that piece out to try to get them to go on the bottom and see if they could locate it. But what a great turnout. I mean, there was where the takeout spot is where you're, I think you're going to be able to see that a little bit later here. Uh, they had a really nice spread there with food out there for everybody. I think it was tacos that they had and drinks and so forth to keep all the volunteers and everybody helping through everything. Here's a pretty good spot. You can just see that this type of terrain does not slow down the Sherp in the slightest. And you can notice there that bumper, uh, there was two of us in the vehicle, uh, so the bumper was still probably up, I'd say four, six inches maybe above the water. Um, so when something is greater than four inches, it's gotta be just above that bumper and if the tire has to hit it first and if the tiber can pull the vehicle up over that obstacle or up over the top of that bumper, all is good and you'll make it over no problem at all. Can we move away from there, Right please? there we got a snake. Just to the right of that, there was a muskrat that just came through. Very cool. I don't know what kind of snake it is. So let's back up. Probably a rattlesnake, I believe. Let's back up. Pretty much concludes the bit footage that I'm going to show from this leg of the journey. 
Uh, we actually were on the right side of the river going down river and we moved to the left here because we had to get close to the boat landing which is up here on the left because the current gets so strong and the Sherp wouldn't be able to come the current so we had to stick real close here to the shoreline. Unfortunately my camera uh, stopped recording as we were going up this little stream here but believe me it's right there on the left. And then I noticed that and we came right up into the parking lot as, as you can see they had a nice little tent set up, they had some food set up for everybody. They really did a nice job. Uh, I know everybody appreciated all that. Absolutely wonderful. And here was the first sign when I'm driving back here just trying to turn around that I discovered that that brake wasn't quite working the way that I wanted it to because I could not turn quickly. But we were convinced right after this to do it again, so we went again and we went down the other side of the river, so we had to load her up on the trailer and we went up back up to Shiflets and went in again. So on this side of the river, we actually hit a lot more obstacles, shall we say. We weren't in the back sloughs the majority of the time. We were actually on the river itself. So the current was a little bit faster. Uh, it was a little bit different. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, so we hit a lot of different trees when we were going down through here, but when we did hit a lot of those trees, I did not capture it on video, unfortunately. And I wish you would have been there, but my sister yelling, Dan, uh, was something that... Uh, I wish you would have been, you would have heard, but you've heard it on other videos, so that was a lot of fun. So I don't want to bore you with uh, this type of footage, so I'm just going to call it quits for here. Nothing, no snakes, no big wild things on the way down on this side of the river. Um, and we were not, did not get out of the vehicle either to try to capture anything. Uh, honestly, because I had places to go and I had to kind of move along here fairly quickly. So on the way back, I was able to capture that little channel that we came in the first time. And now we're coming it into a second time. Uh, you can see the tents there, right up there on, in the middle of the screen. And look at all the people that were helping. I can't read who that was, but it was another rescue crew. There was lots of people out there trying to help out. But to the best of my knowledge, I still don't think that they've had any luck in recovering the body. Um, I wish them the best. I hope they're able to find it. Yeah, uh, just, a, just a sad event, but a, a wonderful event in terms of people helping out. This is what we need to get back to as a society, in my opinion. Um, it was an overall good day, great feeling. I just wish we would have found. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you subscribing. Throw a like out there. Share it with your friends. I'm still not getting monetized yet. I would love it if I could try to get some more people to uh, join the fun. Uh, my next adventure is going down the Wisconsin River again with a large group of kayaks staying outside on a sandbar. I am looking forward to it. Hope I talk to you soon. Take care.